Yeah. Okay, well, welcome to April's Tabletop Conversation. Yes, the alchemical yeah. spoon. Yes, and long spoon, and we are, once again, the same people. I'm Robert. <laughs> I'm Suzanne. I'm Sandra. And I'm Suzanne. And I'm Christina. And the reason we're laughing is because it's late at night and we're tired. We've had a big, long day, but... We We're ready for April, right. and here we are. It's like the Mickey Mouse. So welcome. Yeah. Roll yeah. Call. yeah, it's yeah. Mickey Mouse roll call. Yeah, so yeah. thank you for um, being here still uh, as members and yes. subscribers we to so appreciate the long spoon, Alchemical Long Spoon yeah. now. You'll mm -hmm. notice we have oh, yeah, up there, yeah. it is the Alchemical Long Spoon Magazine. And yes. um, it's just a format that we feel, that's really what you're seeing is... Um, a chocked full content is what's going on and it's really not just for uh going through and just kind of running through and seeing what's there but it's really for the entire month you come back to it over and over again to different yeah. parts of it listen to this table talk conversation uh there's the flip book um there are other videos at Wonderful Kitchen. Yeah, don't try to gobble video. it all up at yeah. once. You'll have it's indigestion. Like <laughs> yes, it is like a magazine. You come back to it. Flip through it all uh -huh. month. Oh my gosh. Go back to certain articles. You there you go. Certain articles in different orders. You did, you know, yeah. you just bring your iPad in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, bring your iPad to the bathroom and you'll be good to go. Yeah. Or your phone. Take don't, it with you in the do car. Do not drop it in the toilet. Oh, you know? yes. <laughs> so that, other than is, that, you're good to go. <laughs> it's designed to soothe you. In different really ways is. throughout the whole month. Yeah, so, you know, take in the 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 the, the things about sovereignty and mm -hmm. the Kundalini uh, book that we have. It's yeah. really a meditation book mm -hmm. that you can sit with each one, and we put part of it on, and then part of it is a link, and mm -hmm. eventually we we want to translate our. We have how many books we've written? Oh my God! Published. Oh, um, that's over a hundred that we have yeah, actually published through Blur, something like that. And they, uh, a lot of them were available as um, ebooks. E -books. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they do that still, yeah, but, but well, no, they don't any longer. And some of the ebooks seem to still be available, and some of them, well, aren't. they're available at their, at, at, they yeah. have yeah. it yeah. on Blurb, yeah. So on Blurb, you can see we don't have any limitation of how much you can see. Mm -hmm. So all of our books, you can go on to Blurb and hit preview and see all and of preview. them. So you can go to our website, pick mm -hmm. out a book, and there's a click thing, and you can go see it. Yeah. And most and, people only give you 15 pages. Yeah. So yeah. that's a real, yeah. that's a real yeah. gift that you all yeah. Thank you. Well, well, because we're not. We don't have that much time, mm -hmm. and uh, we're not putting limits on uh, how many we sell or how many people mm -hmm. we come in contact with. We can't afford it. We're trying mm -hmm. to support the seekers, the ones that want yeah. to sit and do a deeper practice. We can't afford of, it in our world right now. Yeah, They want to sit into a, a practice. So anybody mm -hmm. that is making that kind of time for their soul's reach, we want to assist them. Yeah. Yes. And... And it's it's sad because I don't think there is a great number of people that are making that kind of time mm -mm. for their soul's reach. Mm -mm. Um, and it, it is, um, I mean, I know when we, when we put things online, uh, a lot of them are pieces from bodies of work mm -hmm. over 35 years. Mm -hmm. And they're, and they're things that that you sit with, that we've sat with, that soothe the soul. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them we've bought into image and word. And it seems like uh, that's not something people uh, are ready for. They they love the things about what we're uh, doing in the house or we go for a walk or we, you know, about us. Mm -hmm. But this other part, but... This is our, this other part is us. It's it, yeah. it is our life it's work. In, what you're what you mm -hmm. have subscribed to is the the inside yeah. as opposed to the outside. And, and there's not a lot of time. It's like in the pieces that are collages, they are so big and they cover so much territory. You could sit with them mm -hmm. for a very long time. We sat with them a very long time before we put them together. Mm -hmm. We put them together now, and to be able to get the clarity. To be able to hear from the heart mind immediately has taken, it's taken a lot. And when we first began, uh, Robert and I had to spend a lot of time uh, 
getting that, getting where it was a direct connection. Yeah. That the mind wasn't it was practice. And all the rules and the patriarchy didn't become part of what we were doing or be in the way of actually hearing as much as we needed from that heart mind connection. Mm -hmm. And and I think that to, um but people are not quite ready for it that much mm -hmm. from straight. It's like um it's it's like a straight <laughs> dose. Yeah. 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 And mm -hmm. and uh, and it saddens me really. Mm -hmm. And uh, but um, it's it's not stopping us. Mm -hmm. We put a lot on in a day, and and the pieces that are the uh, the the uh, what do you call it? the picture and the image. Uh -huh. The picture and the image. Why we are doing that with the words is so we're working with the system where the male and female. Uh, come together into one piece, mm -hmm. the picture and the words, and then it, and then the the heart mind immediately tells us what this picture is about mm -hmm. in the balancing, because it's a female voice that there's no room for in the world, right. and that voice is that heart mind, and so after I put them into the collage, immediately I stop and I wait, and then I hear the voice of the collage, of the pictures and the words coming together and intermingling to give this one message. And it's awesome to feel. Mm -hmm. It's just exciting to feel. And I'm I'm so excited about each yeah. one when we do it because they're miracles. I couldn't have done this years ago. They're miracles of this time, of my time, mm -hmm. and Robert's time now. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, we know a lot of people aren't ready for it, evidently. And, they're they're busy, they're busy. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of time to not only connect with the heart mind in uh, in prayer, but you have to connect with the heart mind when you're doing the dishes, and yeah. the heart mind when you're in the garden, and the heart mind about the world, and the heart mind about well, do I pick this or this? Those are all part of that communication <clears throat> that includes not only the male but the female. The female, to me, in the world mm -hmm. right now, a lot of females are trying to get their voice from the male. And they become more and more male, and, and they have less and less room for um, the, that connection with the heart. Because that connection doesn't rule the world, and that connection is not big in politics, it's not big in what makes decisions, it's not big in corporations. <laughs> It's it's big for females that are willing to work with that with the mind, yeah. mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. the heart mind is there's not a lot of room mm -hmm. for the female that works with the heart mind, mm -hmm. and and sadly enough, uh, if we ever get a female president, president, I would only pray that she would work with the heart mind. It right. would be rare. Yes. Most mm -hmm. women in the politics and in uh, they're good women. They're uh, and they and women that work in in corporations and everything, but they can't hardly get ahead. And right. if they work completely mm -hmm. from that that balance of the heart mind, where the male and female are together in the same in the same being of who they are, mm -hmm. and so it's it's a difficult thing, and it's a difficult thing to sit with if you're going to be in the world. So I realize. But the collages that we do are not easy to sit with because they, but they will bring your, if you give them time, they will bring your heart mind together mm -hmm. and it, they will accelerate it. And that's what they're designed to do. Uh, that's what the intention is. And then after we ask, they have the attention or we're given the attention as we move along, then we open to receive it in whatever way it comes. And so the intention of bringing the heart mind together um, has evolved into these collages. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and they have the male and the female, they have beauty and they have structure and they have uh, elements, elements, elements right? elementals. <clears throat> and they have things that um, are the garden and they have things that are art, but they also have things in our regular world and they have toys and they have uh, things that are of beauty, 
and in a function and they I don't really oh you 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 I just pull up album we have albums after albums uh with different in different um what do you call that um intentions mm-hmm. and and then we pull up the album maybe from a class or maybe an album that is all the angels mm-hmm. or an album that is all about toys or uh, all uh, our different classes that we pulled together and they all and it could be the driveway for heaven's sakes or it could be the the kitchen or the woods where mm-hmm. we went and they all come together yeah. in this <clears throat> harmony mm-hmm. then and then from that becomes the heart mind voice yeah. And it's the heart mind that I asked to help me pick them. So I don't spend any time with figuring them out. I pull up, um, um, I pull up a, uh, uh, a, what do you call that, like an, an album. album. Mm-hmm. And I start putting the ones in, if I have a new album with a new intention, and I pull maybe the, all the recents and I'll start putting them in and, and they'll go in very quickly. I'll, all I will do is just punch them mm-hmm. and then they'll go in there. and. I don't sit and figure them out. And then when I go to do anything, um, I might have all the angels in one. But then I might have a whole, uh, when we do the classes, Mm -hmm. things from everything we've done. And then I'll go to that album that's everything, and then I'll do a collage from those. And you'll see see that in the flip book that we've done for this month. You'll really see it. And the the templates Mm -hmm. are from uh, 3D templates all kinds of different templates whatever template is going to match the voice of, of the male female uh together in that's the words and image and then also the heart mind connection that voice and mm-hmm. i'm talking about it because i thought maybe if you knew more that you would you would uh, take time with it and allow that to move in your life that's what's intended i've taken Robert and I have taken years inside of this to give time to it. We've had mm-hmm. years of of no exact income mm-hmm. for ourselves directly. We, we have it um, from people who care. We have it uh, from our uh, community. But it's like um, we have, our time is 24 seven inside of this intention of connecting the heart mind uh, in, of the whole world. Mm-hmm. We're in a time now that it's only that connection uh, that is going to change things. And the beauty of in the Ukraine is watching people that they, people fight for a sense of place. Mm-hmm. They fight for mm-hmm. a sense of home. They're fighting for all of us. Because if you don't have a sense of place, you have nowhere for the heart mind to reside. Right. Mm-hmm. And so they are like they are like the point of the navel of, of Gaia of this whole world. Mm-hmm. And that's where the battle is. In fact, they think right in Turkey is like the energy of the navel mm-hmm. of the mm-hmm. of the planet. It's like it's all that whole area and these are the brave people that are fighting for all of us. For a sense of mm-hmm. place where the heart and mind and the can reside. It's around the Black Sea. The Black Sea is kind of the body of water that they are near. Turkey's oh, down wow. in the southern part, and they're in the northern part. Mm-hmm. Russia's on the north mm-hmm. uh, eastern mm-hmm. part. Mm-hmm. So here's Western this Black part. Sea, and black is about that deep, yeah. deep dive, <clears throat> that deep um, exploration mm-hmm. and discovery. So. This it's almost whole like involvement when is we about heard that unfolding. Nassim Harriman mm-hmm. and um, Great Braden talking, we had signed up for the Forbidden Science, Science. because we know we dwell there. Mm-hmm. And and um, when he talked about the pro the um, proton proton, proton mm-hmm. that the proton in the state they found it's like it's like a black hole. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And 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 then around the black hole is almost nestial that you can actually live on the edges of the black hole. And and uh, and we know that a lot of our work comes out of there, mm-hmm. yeah. out of that, that as he, the each, As he said, each each proton or is the black hole and each one, each black hole is a singularity. So that's all a point of information. So we're filled 
right. with information. Mm -hmm. yes. It's in the field. So you pull the energy from the field to, um, well, you flow with the energy of the field. So if you have the intention to connect with it um, as your practice, then you gain more and more insight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's amazing with your all's the the patterns which are featured a lot on this this um, alchemical long spoon it's amazing because the intention and what they really do is that they um, help access that information from the protons that we are made up of mm -hmm. oh. you know all of those protons inside of us are small black holes mm -hmm. filled with information and they actually know this now yeah. I mean, and it's out there <laughs> the yeah. protons mm -hmm. inside of you are out the same the as same the, on a cosmic level a galactic universe, level mm -hmm. those black holes they mm -hmm. know and now they've figured out finally they've caught up with what mm -hmm. you already <laughs> intuitively knew but they caught up and realized it's the same scale it's the same formula so what they know about black holes in the co galactic the sense is actually the same formula of the Your amount body. and volume and mass of information that we contain on a protonic subatomic level mm -hmm. inside of our body so now that's holographic yeah holographic right? and, and scale and, and so you all have the holographic decks yeah. mm -hmm. and you have all these that. other incredible decks mm -hmm. of the mycelial light and princeal patterns mm -hmm. and so it's like reading the holographic decks has mm -hmm. helped pull so much together mm -hmm. from this heart mind thing, from all the quantum physics. I mean, it's pretty intense stuff. There's, mm -hmm. a, there's a lot of. Yeah, we're in a holographic world. Yeah. yeah. But see, the, the, the patterns and the words and the image really help. help mm -hmm. I, I felt like it helped pull so much together that it was like, you all worked with this for 30 something years. Yeah. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and it's like, it just and we didn't even like, understand it. Right. No, right. So it's just, just like incredible how and there's a, the resources, it's yeah. like, it's like ancient and future and present all, all in one. Mm -hmm. And there's it's so just, much accessible. programming in our society and in the world from the beginning of time, really, that has kept us limited in our ability to access what we already know, what is actually in our DNA, what's in our protonic level of information to be able to actually access it and use it to move forward we've been limited in that and so these patterns are undoing those limitations they're taking out the blocks they're taking out the triggers that keep you from moving more inward to get your own information your own answers and I think that the more we're understanding we felt how they work but now more of the understanding is coming forward and I'm just I'm so moved constantly about understanding more about they they know now that the heart as you were talking about has this intelligence there is the heart mind has an intelligence mm -hmm. that transcends what the brain mind knows is only polar it's a polarity and the heart and this language that you all yeah. work with is from the heart yeah the heart so it bypasses on a those feeling level mm -hmm. and it's it's a it's an awesome activation yeah. it, and it's a hard heart. thing to to reach in that yeah. when we first started robert and i we wanted to be part of a healing system that wasn't there because uh, we saw that a lot of they were that there was a need for that well, when we opened up ourselves up to it, there was a lot of preparation for that mm -hmm. on a lot of scales of our cells of, of any in different levels that were limited. And I remember that when we first started, before we drew the decks, we, um, we started to uh, write and draw. And we found that there, was all, there were places in what we wrote or places that, that weren't right. We could feel they weren't right. Mm -hmm. And we thought, well, what are we going to do to keep to keep the sound clear and connected and uh we uh decided that there was an importance when you want to con when you want to have a protection and you want no interference um there's a lot of things that people do they wear uh they wear armor they wear um they have swords you know they have all kinds of protective gear to keep 
you know, what the enemy comes in. Well, mm-hmm. whatever is does not want that heart mind connection. Um, it's not your ally. And so uh, we started, uh, we created border mm-hmm. around for we wrote. Mm-hmm. And and we intentioned that nothing could interfere with that connection. Uh, so it's like no part of the mind could start c- squeezing in on the clear connection. And what we found is that it worked. Mm-hmm. And then as we, when we didn't have it, we could see where things did. And we wanted to be able to rely. So we built borders and then we started drawing inside the borders. And, uh, mm-hmm. and then we found that... Uh, that borders were essential when we started. So we, uh, when we started doing the drawings for the the patterns, mm-hmm. um, we actually did very large pieces. No, we did the drawings of patterns first. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There was like 800 patterns, 10 decks. And we started out with borders mm-hmm. because then as we went along, that connection became so, it became connected and it stayed connected. And we, and then actually some of the pieces, the decks we did didn't have to have the borders. Mm-hmm. And it was a thing that grew. And then that connection became other levels of our writing and work. But it was, uh, it had to be very intentional at first that we'd be able, because we weren't just writing for ourselves. Mm-hmm. We were doing it uh, as on a much larger scale. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so, but I was going to read this real quick because of what Suzanne brought up. Um, Let's see, where was it? I guess it's this piece. What is imprincial? Because that's what our patterns are called. We are imprincial beatings. We are imprinted by life, good and bad. The more impactful it is, the deeper it goes, good and bad. The bad is harder to move out or race because there are many emotional connections to hold them in place. These patterns are an answer to our desire to find a healing system that could follow these con- these connections to release the holds. To our surprise, we were given these patterns and their words. In this, we have realized the importance of color and image and words, male and female. Unification is the core of this process. Uh, this is the fastest way. It is nestial. You see one in just a second, and you see it all. Mm. Thus, it begins its work and continues as the soul directs each individual. The more you see it on any level, the deeper it goes to meet your need. It is fractal, erasing, building, art in momentum at an infinite level. And I think that Mm, uh, I love yeah. that. That's so beautiful. Really this really is what it is. <laughs> it is, and it's it's holographic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so you see one piece of this work, and you have the potential in that moment. It just depends on your soul reach yeah. and how big it is, mm-hmm. and how much a seeker you are. But you sometimes need to see it many times. It mm-hmm. will stay in your field. It will start. Your soul will use it. Uh, at each level when when you're ready but you also can see one pattern one piece of our art and inside that piece of art is everything Mm -hmm. is everything we've done Mm -hmm. and and because it is that way it it's infinite and it's a potential and it works with the mycelial level of not only Gaia but all the planetary systems galactically and universally Mm -hmm. because this mycelial level that's that's here is is in many more parts of time and space than just right here Mm -hmm. it also works with the whole mycelial level of the tree and that's why the tree and its potential and its potentiality that's why the tree of life and the tree of knowledge are all trees. They're all said trees oh, yeah. mm-hmm. because of their mycelial system. Oh, yes. yeah. So how could you describe a tree of knowledge with this infinite content mm-hmm. is that you would call it a tree. Yeah. And you know in the tree is this huge, infinite, unlimited content of mm-hmm. information. And uh, uh, that's really uh, a powerful way uh, to work with this work. Yeah. 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 
So I anyhow. Was, I was thinking about too how when we imprint Thank these you. patterns, it's like, what's a way that to try to change the world? Well, you have to you have to change yourself first. You have to work with yourself first. And by imprinting these patterns, it helps you work with the patterns that you're working with individually. But then also because it's a holographic universe, it's like it's literally as you change yourself, you're changing the universe, like the field. Oh God, that's and wonderful. So it's literally not just an airy fairy concept. It's it's quantum physics. Mm -hmm. You know, it's that actually actually it's solidified in that, but it's also alchemical, and mm -hmm. it's also mm -hmm. beyond proof, and it's mm -hmm. it's beyond all of those things. So it's really, I just feel like it's just an incredible opportunity. Mm -hmm. And I lo I love what you love said that. with that because we've talked about recently about how alchemy is not a proof it's an exploration and that is what's so beautiful about and you know science <laughs> is just catching up with it. alchemy was the parent of science mm -hmm. and now they're yeah. finally getting yeah. mature enough mm -hmm. to recognize the alchemy that they don't that the proof you know, everybody's so caught up with the whole thing about proving things and so so much demand for proof that they get rid of exploration and allowing things to just surrender to, and curiosity, to, and, curiosity yeah. and just trying to um, surrender to the process that um, that, that exploration entails mm -hmm. and all yeah. the, the mystery and the magic and the discoveries that can happen in surrendering to the mystery, mm -hmm. you know, and just allowing things to start unfolding. Um, it's just amazing because sometimes yeah. that demand for proof creates so much limitation and restriction and so much contraction that there isn't any room to breathe and just. And you allow. have to remember. That the what was it he said a a, 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 a autodidactic autodidactic is someone that is untrained right so, and do you realize that every every genius every Einstein every uh, Periclesius at some point they come to that point that they do not they are actually in the point of something very new. And they've not been trained in it. Mm -hmm. That's that's what happens is that every time, like for us, we are always in that place mm -hmm. because we because of the way we receive it from the heart mind, and it is alchemical. We are always open to that place where there is no proof, right. and mm -hmm. so we discover things that get proved later, but there is no proof now, exactly. and that is the moment that Einstein did his discoveries. It's a moment of all the famous, unbelievable ideas. Yeah. Every unbelievable fame, every unbelievable invention has that moment yep. mm -hmm. yes. in it. Mm -hmm. And in fact, that is the, that is the moment where the whole holographic piece is one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I, I think oh. that's, I wanted to read one thing we did uh, in having this book mm -hmm. is also we have in this long spoon uh, the uh, body at zero point which is about these right. patterns yes. mm -hmm. the information that we received in all of those we were in that didactic state yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. exactly we did not understand it now we understand it a lot 35 years in presto mm -hmm. but also is the Kundalini book that we put together a couple of years ago is it's like a vast thing of our experiences of what that energy is like when it comes and what it does yeah. does for you. And hardly anybody talks about it. And I've not even anybody seen anybody do as a direct body of work as this is right. to all yeah. the different levels. And I wanted to, re I <coughs> posted this. I think we had three people. Uh, respond. <laughs> respond. But I posted this today on Facebook. What is Kundalini? Well, I know it well. This is a conversation that the world is having to have. Inner fire, I'd outer fire. The heart will no longer be silent. The heart will have its sovereignty in our time. This book will steady you through it. We know because we have been there. It is free to read on our site now. All you need 
to give is your time. And, uh, and then I put the cover of the book. And mm. that book is on this long spoon. Oh, yeah. And um, it's a miracle. I, it, it's a miracle to me that we put it together very, it was just like it just poured out of us. Mm -hmm. And um, it's on this long spoon. And you will show you parts of it, maybe 20 of the, of the different pages. Each page has with it a set of, or just about, a set of at least three and even more uh, of these imprincial patterns to assist you, mm. to assist you in this time because the the whole world is inside of a Kundalini rise. And um, uh, so you can click and see the whole book, but it will show you at least, I think at least 20 we have. Uh, yeah, I think it. so. Yeah, yeah. that's a, a good place to uh, come to on the... We're nearing the end of our tabletop conversation time, but um, well, I don't want to end through. yet. No, we'll go okay. a little longer because okay. I've mostly got, talked about touch this, on something else? and I I want everybody else to have a little more room. Okay, but this was important because um, of the timing we are at, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. and these two big pieces of work, <clears throat> right? And the and the background, yeah. and why do you, why would you take time? And the thing about the collages, because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. also I want to say that. We are in a time ourselves that we need support. We need support because all our time, mine and Roberts, is in getting supportive work open to the public and available. Mm -hmm. And even though we came to Maine for the elements of Maine because it is fabulous to help us get through these, but Kundalini support. is an important part of how we get from one body of work to the next. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, uh, we, we have, uh, we're in a time of trying to find how we can continue doing this, which we will, and, and also uh, continue to have support for our daily lives. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why we've got the long spoon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. So Thank I want you. to say that. Thank yeah. you. Sandra, what do you want For to me, say? The biggest takeaway from um, all of this, and I'll have the takeaway because that's the term that kept coming up with uh, the scientist, um, is that the heart has to be the first instrument you use when you read this work. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. It has to come, you can't, the, the mind will eventually take it, but the heart opens up. All the words, all the the collages, everything, and through the heart, you will take it in, and you don't need explanation. You don't need to block it because you can't understand something, because eventually, the mind will come and be equal to the heart, but it's not there now. And it's and it, to me, this is the biggest thing this past month has been opening the heart and let the heart show you and speak to your mind. Mm -hmm. And as you keep talking about heart mind, it it is that, but the heart has got to be opened up to receive this information. That's why it's beautiful. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, and that's it's the fun. beauty of mm -hmm. it, and it's. Yeah, we made it fun. And it's a journey to join them. And, so yeah, the beauty of it and the fun of it is is it's not insignificant. Yeah, well, yeah. right. And it's outside religiosity. It's outside, you know, a limited belief system. It, right. It's outside of it's it's it has no ceilings. Oh, I love <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. And no judgment. Memorable. It has no judgment. Of where you are it just it keeps giving and giving and giving and you've got to open your heart to receive it and eventually you'll if you have to understand it it'll come yeah it will it always does mm -hmm. we understand a whole lot more of it oh, than we gosh. used to yeah it amazes me how much uh, there's so much talk about loving yourself and giving yourself compassion uh -huh. and all of this <coughs> healing kind of conversation and words and things but to actually have access and opportunities to actually make those kind of changes and actually integrate that mm -hmm. into your life. I feel like 
we've been able to have uh, incredible opportunities to actually be more patient with you know ourselves yeah. and to mm -hmm. actually learn to be more compassionate so at that all, and loving yourself and all of those things that, that, that opens the heart yeah you know and and moves out blocks and all of those things so I feel really really grateful to have these kind of opportunities and tools and 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 to work with a language that opens that anytime I open a book or <laughs> anytime I look at a pattern or take something in it's pretty remarkable mm -hmm. to be gifted with that so mm -hmm. yeah. mm, thank you Truly, I agree well Truly don't wonderful. forget to get to the end of the block of the long the alchemical spoon because that's where uh, Suzanne and Christina uh, talk about that in in their everyday yeah. life and so does Sandra yeah. mm -hmm. and she has two blogs and they have a beautiful uh, slideshow where they talk about uh, their process in the kitchen of mm -hmm. the heart mind connection mm -hmm. and Sandra and working with the plants not love, to be missed. We love your walk through the gardens. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we really are researchers here. I mean, that is what we're doing. We're taking yeah. what's been given from the heart mind, from the universe, from the divine, and finding ways to um, how it works. How do you integrate it? How do you apply it in your everyday life? And that's what we're here doing. And so, because it has to be able to reach the hearts of people and people feel limited and scared and they are in a time and they have been for a long time but this is a really critical time i think for mm -hmm. our planet and our, for humanity and like you said so eloquently i mean the the world the heart is not going to be silenced anymore and the heart mind has got to be the leading the charge now instead right. of the brain mind that is only working and is only capable of working with polarity yeah. and the, le the, the, the left the right the right the wrong the good the bad the beautiful the ugly and all the judgments and interpretations that come yeah. with that mm -hmm. whereas the heart so doesn't have that, that polarity so it bypasses mm -hmm. all of that so that you actually can get clear information that is your birthright that humans are made up of the information from the divine that created them and and being able to access that to me is the greatest joy and and the greatest thing that we as humans can achieve and i have never seen a body of work that so addresses that and it was so intentionally created to unlayer and get rid of all of the limitations, the triggers, the blocks that would keep you from being able to access that. And life's so, imprints, you know, impact. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we're hurt. Mm -hmm. And the mm -hmm. hurts, they, because of the emotion that went with that impactual events that were usually negative and traumatic for people, they, they're so deeply imprinted that it's taken something else that can imprint just as deep and deeper to undo it and I you know that's why retinal imprintation yeah if I because have the psychoanalytical you, so stuff fast. all the counseling all that not it's that holographic bad, yeah. mm -hmm. but that it bypasses all that it's the fastest way that we're finding to undo lineage patterns the and transformation un transformation mm -hmm. so again you know, I, I love the exploration and I love the alchemy of every day in this life um, that we share. So. I do too. Mm -hmm. anyway, thank you. That, thank that you, Robert. Sums it up. We that went a little it up. over. A little over, but we're good. Mm -hmm. And just enjoy Talk yourself you. looking through the Alchemical Give Long Spoon magazine. Yep, yeah. that's the key. Let, let these Give collages time. help you feel um, joy. Let them help bring things together that support you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So un until next month, continue and Thank enjoy you so much this issue for for support, and support yep. and and getting this. Yep, and share it out. Yep. We appreciate that so much. Yeah. Bye for now. Bye.